everyone, my name is Kritika Sehgal and I am back with another tech talk for you here. I have with me right now Ajay Agrawal, a CTO charge point. Hello sir. Hi Kritika. Hi. First question for you is, what according to you is the future of electric vehicles? I think um, the future of electric vehicles is pretty clear um, that um, in the next few years or five or ten years, uh, the move away from fossil fuel will happen. and. While I can't predict which year by most of the cars will be electric, but if you take a look at what's happening in North America, Europe, China, and soon India also, right? There's a massive shift towards electric vehicles. And whatever, one of the biggest reasons is because of clean energy and climate. So, And the acceleration is happening because of a massive drop in the prices of the lithium-ion battery. So. All right. So what uh, do you think India can learn from developed countries like America in terms of green tech? So today, India is the fourth largest uh, emitter of greenhouse gas, uh, gas emission. And also that, you know, I think in 2017 or 18, the oil import bill is going to be close to 80 or 90 billion dollars, right? So uh, the reliance on oil and the huge uh, ne uh, negative uh, impact of this uh, fuel, right, means India really needs to catch up to electric vehicles, right? So um, what India needs to do is adopt international standards, standards that are used in America or Europe, and have the same electric vehicle charging standards in India also so that it can it can benefit from the R&D that has already happened. So India has a huge potential yes, in, yes. in terms of electric vehicles. And so what, according to you, is, uh, you know, like I just want to ask how far is uh, India is uh, when we talk about electric vehicles and clean tech? I, I think it's pretty far uh, right now. Um, by 2020, India will have the third largest number of vehicles in the world. So I think this should be a sense of urgency in the government. And I do see some sense of urgency. As an example, Niti Aayog, they have worked with Rocky Mountain Institute and there's a policy out there. Uh, the challenge is um, uh, India needs to s uh, set up uh, lithium-ion batteries manufacturing plants because if you start importing those batteries, it's the same as if you're importing oil again, right? So you need to do, so, you have to make in India, and then you also have to put a charging infrastructure. The encouraging news is the government is getting serious. Um, uh, Mr. Piyush Goel, he, he's already talked about, you know, trying to have uh, EVs in India, you know. So I am pretty optimistic, but I would say India is at least a few years behind uh, in other countries. Like, as an example, China has really gone ahead. Of all the countries today, China is way ahead. So, but I am I am very optimistic. In the next few years, as you start seeing cars from Indian auto OEMs, more and more will be electric. So. So again, picking it from uh, your statement, you said you just said Piyush Goel, Mr. Piyush Goel has right. started to give statements again uh, uh, regarding the clean tech and electric vehicles. So what else, according to you, Indian government needs to do when we talk about? Uh, electric vehicles? Uh, I think. Uh, the Indian government needs to agree to a standard um, for electric vehicles, and they are working on it, and we are very hopeful they'll ad adopt the international European standards. That's number one, so there is no confusion on what uh, kind of electric car should be make, uh, made in India. Number two, it should encourage, at least for the next few years, uh, some subsidies on electric vehicles. Um, uh, and they should time bond it. Maybe in a few years, you know, you should make it in India. Number three, they should encourage a model of, uh, you know, of free beds, right? Whether, you know, you might start taxing non-electric cars, right? So non-electric cars or which we call ICE internal combustion engines. So those manufacturers will may have to pay, may should be taxed higher, or they may have to buy what's called carbon credits to encourage the sale of electric vehicles. So some kind of rebate, some kind of, you know, policies uh, and infrastructure growth is required for electric vehicles to take off in India, so. Okay. So, do you have any expansion plans in India right now? You know, ChargePoint, obviously, it's a global uh, company. We uh, we are in today in America, Canada, Australia, and Europe. And we are looking into the Indian market. You know, it's obviously a big market. The Indian economy is one of the world's fastest growing economy. And, and, and like I said, by 2020, it will have the third largest number of vehicles. So obviously it's an important market. We are carefully evaluating the Indian market as of today because we have a very strong brand and we have a, you know an obsession towards consumers and consumers' quality. So if and when we do enter India, we want to make sure that our brand value is preserved and we can offer the same kind of awesome experience that we offer elsewhere. So Great. 
So, so tell us something about the EV that you are driving currently. So, I'm driving a Chevy Bolt, but today actually my son really drives that a Bolt. Uh, uh, it's a it's a really nice EV. Um, it's it's it has a range of 220 miles which comes over 300 kilometers, right? So that range anxiety is more or less gone uh, because with a 300 kilometer, if you can charge it overnight and you'll have a 300 kilometers range. Um, and it's also very affordable, so it's doing really well. So it's from GM. Hopefully we'll see that uh, the Chevy Bolt in India also. Thank you, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, my last question for you is quite interesting, and that is, what are your views on Tesla and Elon Musk? So, uh, well, we are very uh, grateful to Tesla because if if it was not for Tesla, I would not be talking to you today, right? So, um, Elon yeah. Musk has single-handedly created this industry, and when I think Tesla was first introduced, people were skeptical, but the Model S is the number one luxury selling car in America. And last year in Germany, it outsold uh, the Daimler, Mercedes-Benz and BMW and Audi also, right? So that's how much successful it has become, right? And then Elon Musk is very close to uh, mass producing Model 3, which is a lot more affordable version of the, the Model S. So I'm very optimistic. You know, there have been some recent statements by the press that Tesla may be in trouble because it has fallen behind um, its uh, manufacturing. But I would never ever rule Elon Musk out. So, you know, I, I think that that company deserves to be given a lot of credit for what it has done to the eBay industry. All right. Thank you so much, sir, for taking out time and speaking to us on electric vehicles and clean tech. And we really hope for a great collaboration between India and America in future. Looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you.